Okay, so hello everybody, I'm Hugo. I'm going to talk about Terms of Service Student Treat, which is a project I started this summer with uh, people from Hernosted. I am also a law student, and um, so I'm going to talk about the problem, a uh, problem which affects a lot of people who use the web every day, and uh, I think that uh, with some hacking we can pretty much fix it. So the problem is the biggest lie on the web. Uh, this lie is I have read and agree to the terms of service. So uh, of course I'm talking about uh, web services which deal with uh, our private data and uh, our creative material. Um, what is at stake is our rights and our freedoms on the web and uh, pretty much those of everybody, el of everybody else. So yeah, the, the process of acceptance is basically broken. This is a screenshot uh, from some iPhone application. The problem is that uh, legally this is contract and the contracts are based on agreement. There is no real agreement as you can see because uh, the real problem is that um, we never read that stuff and we actually give up some of our rights without noticing. Uh, this can be pretty extreme, like this website. Uh, people didn't read it and they actually sold their soul to a game station, which is a game website. Okay, so this may be a prank, but sometimes it can get serious. Uh, it was a topic from US uh, researchers and they found out that it would take uh, every person uh, 76 days every year to be able to read all the terms they agreed to online. So basically, it requires to be a full-time lawyer to use the web and know what you're dealing with. But it doesn't have to be like that. Um, we solve copyright uh, legal mess with Creative Commons, and in, in software licensing, we have um, you know, FSF and OSI labels. The problem is, who's going to fix it for you? Because it's really boring. The terms of service of iTunes are longer than Hamlet, and uh, quite frankly, I prefer to read Hamlet than reading uh, this kind of shit. So what we need is um, some tools, some organization, and a bit of hacking. Um, one project that I really like is the Mozilla privacy icons, and I would like to you know, mix it with terms of service, didn't you? Icons are pretty cool to convey message, which are easy to understand. And um, the problem is that they are very, there, is, there is a very large number of issues that are being dealt with in terms of service. It's not as simple as Creative Commons. I mean, simple. Even Creative Commons can get pretty complicated if you have too many uh, icons. But if you have too many icons, it defeats the purpose because it becomes also difficult to understand. Um, this is a database of some of the most common terms that you can find in the terms of service. And you, you've got about 160 variations, so you cannot do 160 icons, obviously. So this is where Terms of Service didn't read comes in. Uh, we try to make uh, easy to understand uh, text summary with icons which are nice uh, to uh, give a balance um, between what's really bad and what's really good. So it's basically a rating system that we give. Um, the goal is to you know, increase awareness of our rights online and also give people the ability to compare services so we can give a better, um, um, we, we can show people that free software based alternatives are better than you know, uh, Facebook or whatever. Uh, of course the project is free software so you can fork it and make it about uh, a project, uh, something specific like a terms of service about uh, mobile operators or internet services. We also have a browser extension which I hope you can uh, install. Um, so let's talk a, bit, a little bit about the content of the terms that some of the nasty stuff that you can find in those uh, texts. Uh, obviously copyright is a big issue because a lot of these services uh, deal with uh, our own um, creative materials, so uh, pictures, uh, uh, text, uh, whatever. Um, well, if you think about you know, the goal of copyright, I mean, it's supposed to be the goal. Um, it's to you know, promote um, um, you know, public benefit. And if you look at these terms, they, there is no public benefit at all. There's, it's only everything is in, in, for the, the, cop, the um, corporations. Nobody really benefits from this. Uh, this is um, the terms of service uh, from Facebook. Uh, this is the copyright license in the terms. Uh, basically, it's so broad, it's a bit complicated if you don't understand what each word means, but it's basically, hey, we're Facebook, give us all the rights on your pictures. So we also try to connect uh, some of the different clauses that you can find, and we give thumbs down so that people understand this is bad compared to what other, people, other services can do. 
Um, the other very big issue that uh, we uh, watch is how the terms can change because in the terms you usually have a part saying something like, oh, okay, we can, you know, anything, anytime, we can change the terms, you won't even be notified. Sometimes you find things like that. So, you know, if, even if you read the terms one day, maybe in two days they have changed and you don't even know about it. So, <clears throat> we, we need, um, well, we need to really fix this problem. Um, we've, there's a lot of services to watch. So we've developed um, a tool which is called uh, Tossback. I mean, actually, we uh, continued the development which was started by the EFF. And uh, there is uh, Jim who is working on it in uh, version 3 of Tossback. So Tossback tracks all the, the, the terms of service online and, and make diffs of them so we can easily watch for the uh, evolution of those. Uh, of course, uh, as usual, it's, it's, everything is open data and the software is on GitHub. Um, if, you, you know, if you're interested in helping, uh, I really hope you can uh, contribute. Um, it's also some web development and uh, things like that. Uh, maybe not too exciting for um, cryptographic hackers or whatever. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so if you, here's my contact address, here's the Twitter of the project, or this is the mailing list where everybody can contribute and, and, and say, hey, hello, I was reading the terms of uh, I don't know which service, and I found this thing which was pretty weird, so yeah, what do you think? Thank you. <laughs> yeah.